Hello everybody! Welcome! I'm Megan Maria and I am your Chalk Couture Independent Designer and welcome to my demonstration video! We are going to make a super fun sign tonight! I'm kind of calling out my board and pillar peeps because I have been very negligent in my board and pillar peeps and if you don't know what I'm talking about the board and pillar group is a group of people that have board and pillar stands. And if you have a board and pillar stand, um, one of the really nice things about this particular surface, that's this little guy right here, is he is really easy to change seasonally. He goes in both directions. He's, this one's really tight. He goes in both directions. You can wash him, you can change him. Um, he's one of my favorite surfaces. It's called the board and pillar. It's a little bit distressed. Um, Mine have been all over God's creation in the last three years for classes and seminars and workshops and um, they've taken a beating. But they're still beautiful and they're still super fun. So what the board and pillar peeps are is it's a group of people that own these and if you don't own one but would like one, you can always join the board and pillar peeps. And every, it was supposed to be, I hang my head in shame, it was supposed to be every month we would change this up seasonally and then I would throw in something fun, like a little embellishment that went with the transfer that we could zhuzh up our little surface a little bit. And I've been very negligent. I want to say it's, I mean, it's been over six months. Yeah, maybe. It's been six months. Summertime. I mean, not summertime. Wintertime was the last time we played with our board and pillar. So I apologize because I've not been good at it. But we're really getting into crafting season. So it's easy to come up with little fun embellishment and things. So if you are a board and pillar peep or you want to be a board and pillar peep, what it involves is you need a board and pillar. This is a wonderful surface. It's, I wanna say it's 1999. Um, I should know that, right? I should know that, but I'm fairly confident it's 1999. Um, but it's a really nice reusable and it's really versatile. It fits pretty much anywhere. Yep, it's $19.99. And then the transfer that goes on it every month is $9.99. It's always an A size transfer. Um, and sometimes, some of you uh, like to do it on different surfaces. Some of you like to not wash it off and keep it. Um, but typically the transfer is seasonal. Tonight we're gonna do the, oh my gourd, I love fall. This is a really fun transfer. And I took my board and pillar and I spray painted it gold to kind of go with a folly theme. Um, so you can have more than one board and pillar if you like the board and pillar, which I happen to love. Um, and I have found some really cool embellishments. Look at this super cute little pumpkin guy. I mean, isn't he adorable? And he sits very nicely right on our little frame, right? Because the deal with your embellishment is you don't want it to be permanent because you want to be able to change it every month so that you have that little pop of seasonal decor. Um, I also have a uh, Halloween one. We made this transfer the other day a while back. Um, Something Wicked comes this way. And look at this super cute little cauldron that we can hang which obviously the transfer goes in the other direction um, with a cute little bow. So I have some fun embellishments with the transfers. I will post this in the Making Maria Crafty community. You want to be in there to see all that fun stuff. Um, but tonight we're going to make, oh my gourd, I love fall. And I, I have to say, I didn't love this transfer in the beginning, but then I saw beautiful things that people made with it and then it quickly you know, moved up the ladder, and I love this transfer now. And, I mean, my goodness, right? This could be a great t-shirt or sweatshirt, right? It's sweatshirt weather in the fall. It could be a great sweatshirt, super cute towel. Um, who doesn't love fall, right? Crazy people don't love fall. I love fall. And I don't like cold, and I love fall. But it does tell me winter's coming, so I'm not really crazy about that. But the prior to winter coming part about fall, I do like that part. <laughs> I just don't like the winter part because you know I don't like to be cold but hello miss Carol how are you this evening hello miss Sandy hello mr. Mike welcome everybody so that's a board and pillar is I will post in the making Maria crafty community um, 
when we're completed with our project here this evening. So you get the little embellishment along with the transfer if you already own the board and pillar. If you don't own the board and pillar, you can buy them together and then you get the little embellishment. And then as we change them up um, seasonally, you can continue to change it. I'm not going to say it's going to be monthly <laughs> because quite honestly, my problem is coming up with cute little embellishments that I think are appropriate for the item. So we didn't have a lot of, you know, summer embellishments. So that's kind of why it fell to the wayside. So I do apologize for that. But it's fun time now, right? We're getting into the fun crafting season. So we have lots of fun embellishments to play with. So um, that is why, and again, I apologize to people for not um, being more diligent about it. So fall is here, right? I mean, I was at a cross country meet today sweating, but fall once you start running cross country it's fall that's kind of how i view it all right i'm rambling so let's get to chalking so we are going to do this in some really kind of non-traditional fun colors because i did spray paint my board and pillar i did its actual spray paint with a metallic gold spray paint um just because you know sometimes it's fun to have it i mean i love the white you can't go wrong with classic white but sometimes it's kind of fun to have you know a little bit of difference so I'm going to write the name of my transfer on the back so that I know which one goes with which. I'm going to carefully remove it from its backer sheet. I'm going to set this aside. This is an extremely important piece of paper because it's like sticker paper. It's shiny on one side. It's dull on the other side. The shiny side is the side you're going to put your transfer back on after you wash it so that you can store it because it's reusable. You can use it over and over and over and over again. So I'm going to take my really cute little transfer. But first, I need to wash my frame off because I'm seeing that I have like residue from the tape when I spray painted it. So I just want to get that off because you want to start with a clean surface. This surface uh, really washes nicely. I do have to say it's and I would tell you if it didn't, it really does wash nice. So I want it. This frame is probably three years old, probably one of my original ones. Um, and we have crafted and crafted and crafted five million times on it and washed it off five million times. Okay, it's an exaggeration. Y'all know I exaggerate. It's not really five million times, but it's a lot of times. <laughs> More than most people would do. Um, and again, don't mind my spray painted back. But there's two little holes. There's n The new ones have a little, like, turny thing that go in it. But it's a really tight fit usually, so you don't have to worry too much about not being able. But pay attention to where the hole is. I don't think the new ones have holes. I think they just have the turny thing. That just goes to show you how old mine are. Is there the old ones with the little holes in them? We used to have like a little dowel that went in the hole, and now they have like turny things that don't come off because you inevitably would lose, like I did. You lose the little dowel. All right, so I have my transfer down, stuck it down. So we're gonna do kind of some fun not normal Maria things. <laughs> First of all, I spray painted something gold, which is totally not my jam, but it is so cool. Um, I'm not always that into gold, but I have to say, I really kind of like it this way. We're going to use Dune, which is not white, which y'all know I tend to lean towards white. We're going to use Dune, which is kind of a creamy color. We're going to use Camel, which to me is like a creamed coffee color. You know, if you like your coffee with more cream than coffee, like I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a, a coffee with cream color and then I think we're gonna use a little copper shimmer to kind of go with the gold so we don't want to I could have used gold shimmer but then it's matchy matchy and we don't want to be matchy matchy right we want to be a little bit different we're gonna do the gourd in copper shimmer we're going to do oh my gourd probably in dune Maybe we'll do Oh My Gourd, I Love Fall in Dune, and in Camel, we're going to do the little leafy things, and then in Copper Shimmer, we're going to do the gourd. That's the plan. This is going to be a quick, easy, simple little project, um, which is kind of one of the nice things about the board and pillar peeps. It's very similar, obviously, to Club Couture, right? Club Couture is a uh, program where once a month you get this beautiful transfer in the mail with three paste packets. It's like your guaranteed little oasis fun of crafting you don't have to think about it it just shows up at your doorstep um that is also $19.99 a month you get a b-size transfer which is bigger than this one and three paste packets free shipping it's a wonderful little not have to think about it experience they're usually seasonal um 
This next one is really cool. I think it says Hello Autumn on it. Or I Love Autumn. It's either I Love Autumn or Hello Autumn. It's really cute. It's on my way to me. I'll show it to you when I get here. Uh, but it is an autumn one for the next one. But So this is kind of along those lines where you have a surface, but it's kind of designated to the surface. And then once you're in, it's $9.99 a month for the new transfer. Obviously, you have to have paste. But it's just, you know, don't have to think about it too much. I post the pictures of you get to pick your between your transfers. Sometimes I have to order them, so it takes a little longer. Sometimes I have them in stock. Um, I'm trying to not hold as much stock, so I'm trying to order more. But that's how it works, basically. Board and pillar peeps. You need a board and pillar stand. You don't have to spray paint your gold. You can keep it white. And then it's a transfer every month and a little embellishment. Not every month. When we have a cute embellishment that goes with a fun transfer. <laughs> I'm going to stop rambling. We're going to put Jack down. So I'm going to open up my Dune. I think these are all new. I haven't used these yet. Oh. Dune is a very creamy color. It's definitely not white. Um, it's kind of a yellow cream. Camel, that's what this is called, right? Camel is, again, like a coffee color only with a lot of cream in it. It's a very beautiful color. I can get the lid off. It's a very pretty, very fall color. It's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And then we're going to use Copper Shimmer, which of the shimmers is my all-time favorite shimmer. Um, I don't know why it's always been my all-time favorite shimmer, but I love Camel Shimmer. If I'm going to use a shimmer, it typically is Camel. Um, or Copper. I love Copper Shimmer. Did I say Camel Shimmer? It's not Camel. It's Copper. Ooh, look at these creamy, dreamy new paste. Aren't these lovely? <laughs> oh, baby. Love me some creamy, dreamy paste. Okay, so this is Camel. This is Dune. So you open up your chalk paste, you give them a quick stir. If they need a drink, you give them a spray of water. That I have noticed with the new creamy, dreamy paste formula, I have to spray water in them very little. My Camel is old. Or, I keep calling it Camel. My Copper is old. Um, and the shimmers tend to not need water, but this guy, this guy's probably two years old. So he does need a little bit of a drink. So you just give him a spray of water and stir him. So the, my shimmers are not the new paste because I have them. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of a drink and a stir. And then another drink because it's still a little stiff. The shimmers tend to not dry up as quickly as the regular pastes do, but again, this guy's been around a long time. This is probably my original copper. Eh, might not be. I use copper shimmer a lot. I could tell you my gold and my silver are probably my originals. All right, so we're going to do the gourd in copper shimmer. We're going to, oh my gourd, I love fall. We're going to do in dune, and then the cute little sprigs, we'll call them, we're going to do in camo. That's our plan. So what I've done there is a really important step. I've thought through the colors I'm going to put where before I've ever started to chalk. Um, it just makes it easier to know. There's less guesswork, and I don't have to worry so much about my chalk paste drying because I've already thought through what I'm putting where. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do this project with one squeegee. So because I'm going to do it with one squeegee, I want to have a wet paper towel, a wet napkin, a baby wipe, a disinfectant wipe, something that's wet next to me so that I can wipe my squeegee off as I go. Um, so I'm going to just dip my squeegee in my copper shimmer, load it up, um, and just simply... Now I could do the stem of my gourd in a different color, um, but I really want... I'm kind of going for simplicity. So I'm going to do my copper shimmer for my gourd, and I just literally pull the chalk paste across the silk screen. Copper shimmer is shimmery i mean it's not super sh it's not the shimmers are not like a glitter glitters you know are definitely brighter shinier um the shimmers are it's more subtle so i'm just going to wipe my squeegee off now i'm going to use my camel i'm going to use the same no i'm not because my squeegee was wet from my disinfectant wipes i need to dry it off so then my chalk paste didn't want to stick to it so i'm going to take my camel and I'm going to just do these little spriggy guys. I 
And I think I'm, there's these two little dots. I'm going to do those two little dots too in camel. Oops. And I am going to lift and paste just because my copper shimmer was seeming a little dry, so I don't want it to dry. If your chalk paste dries on top of your silk screen, what happens is um, it pulls up. This is going to be so awesome. Okay, so I'm just going to set it back down and I'm going to reseal the I Love Fall. I'm not going to reseal the whole thing, just the I Love Fall part. And again, I'm going to wipe off my squeegee, get that extra chalk paste off because I'm going to dip it in a different color now. Just dry it off quick. I'm going to grab my dune, load it up, just hold my squeegee straight up and down and go right across literally just scraping the chalk paste. That's all you're doing. If you have any lines from, you know, excess chalk as you squeegee past, just smooth them out because you will see them if you take your transfer off. With a line there, when you pull the transfer off, you will see the line. Okay, I'm going to really like this color combination, I can tell already like really like this color combination this was a good choice peeps okay i missed part of my silk screen up there so just smooth her out put my excess chalk paste back in my container start pulling in the corner but pull it from the middle so you're not pulling it diagonally Ooh. okay this is such a cool color combination and aren't you totally loving the gold frame? Oh, score! All right, I need to dry. Oops, I have chalk, chalk paste all over me. I, we need to dry it because, first of all, I'm going to stick my finger in it inevitably. Um, but when your chalk paste is dry is when you can really chalk paste everywhere you can really see the shimmer until it's dry the shimmer is very hard to see it will be hard for you guys to see no matter what I do but it will be easier for you when it's dry oh, I'm in love with this color combo okay now I gotta think about what else can we make this color combination I mean I was a little worried that we weren't gonna see camel but you can totally see it Sometimes the darker colors on a black chalkboard are hard to see, but you can totally see it. So I'm just drying my chalk paste. You can tell right away when it's dry because it's no longer shiny, obviously, except the shimmer. Um, regular chalk paste has a sheen to it until it's dry. Once it's dry, then it's matte in finish. Oh, yeah. You guys are going to love this color combination. Oh! I love, I wasn't thinking I was going to love camel this much. Okay, chalk paste dries really fast. So I'll try to get you in the light. It's very hard to see the shimmer for you guys. But can you see the color differences? Can you see the difference between the camel and the dune as well as the copper shimmer? Okay, so what we're going to do next, now I don't really think he needs any embellishment because he's beautiful just the way he is. Don't you love it? Oh gosh, I love it. So we do have a little bit of an embellishment for him, but I don't think he's going to even need it. I'm just closing up my chalk paste. It's always best that you don't leave your chalk paste open to, you know, the elements you want to. Um, and this guy, I'm going to give a little bit of a drink because he is dry. So I just put water in them and I let them sit with the water in them and then they absorb the water over time. That helps them not dry out. The new chalk paste are perfect. So I don't need to do anything to them. Except close them up. There's a lid always easier to wash off your squeegees and things when your chalk paste is wet because it does dry hard um, so it's just easier to get it off 
just wash off your squeegee. Okay, this is really cute. Like, really cute. Okay, one more. I'll clean up my... Oh, this is a beautiful color. This is like a perfect fall color. I love me some dune. No, wait, camel. This is camel. We had camel before. Um, I don't know if it's just because it's the new chalk paste formula, but wow, that's a pretty color. Let's get the corners or the edges of your chalk paste containers if you get chalk on them. Otherwise, it makes it hard to open them if it dries. All right, so we have our super cute little... Wow, I don't really think he needs much embellishment. So we have this really fun little pumpkin guy who's kind of satiny and shiny. Isn't he adorable? And he can sit right here and then because again he's he's kind of similar to the color of dune but i was thinking we would put a bow on here we might not need the bow though what do you think should i well we'll put the bow on it and see what we think he might not need the bow kind of just a fun little doohickey all on his own i was going to do a, the messy bow but he's kind of this, now that we were gold and pretty, we're kind of classy. So maybe we need a regular bow. Not a messy bow. Yeah, I was really going to do three layers, but we're going to do two. Right? Just do a two layer bow. Okay, I'm doing it backwards. That's why this is not working for me. <laughs> if you ever want pure entertainment value, just watch Maria make bows. This is really quite entertaining when you watch me attempt to make a bow. Because there, there's so many different ways to make a bow, right? And you can just go back and forth. We're not making that kind of bow. I don't know. So this little guy, he just sits there. Oops. Do you think he needs a bow? It's kind of cute without the bow. I don't, honestly, I don't even know if he needs the pumpkin. It's just cute. I love this color combination. I mean, we could put a bow. We'll do the good old fashioned green. Let me just tie it on. Kathy, hey Kathy K. Kathy K says no bow. I agree. I don't think we need a bow. We'll put one on just for fun, just to see. And then if we don't like it, we'll take it off. But I don't really think we need the bow. And maybe we should just go with one layer of bow, Maria. Verge. Verge says no embellishments. Well, then that kind of defeats the purpose of board and pillar peeps. <laughs> oh, right? I kind of like the little pumpkin guy. I do like the little pumpkin guy. Yeah. No bow. No bow. He doesn't need a bow. Plus, it's totally the wrong kind of. All right. So, pumpkin. You get the pumpkin, you don't have to use the pumpkin. And now, of course, he doesn't want to stay. So when that happens, when you guys get your pumpkin and your pumpkin doesn't want to stay, you take a little tiny piece of tape. And you don't want to be, you don't want it to be permanent, right? Because we want to change our board and pillars up. So you take a little tiny, you know, loop of tape, stick it, your pumpkin. Okay. Put your so you want to see the blue, right? And you just whoop, whoop. Now he's not going anywhere. All right. So I apologize to all my board and pillar peeps, but this is our super fun one of the super fun little board and pillar peeps transfers. And the other one that we have is where'd he go? Something Wicked comes this way. So 
love this transfer and this one has a super cute little cauldron guy so imagine this with a bow and then the cauldron hanging from it so but I'm totally loving the gold and I love this color combination we used copper shimmer dune and camel those are our color combinations. I will post this in the Making Maria Crafty community. Just let me know which transfer you want. Some of them I have, like this one I have, I have several of these. Um, and I think I have a couple of these. And then there's also, welcome my pretties. And, ooh y'all. So these are kind of, the, you know, there's three Halloween. Something Wicked comes this way. Welcome, my pretties, and boo, y'all. Those are the Halloween transfers. Um, and you get this super cute little. And some ribbon. Gotta have ribbon, right? You gotta tie it on somehow. Um, or, oh my gourd, I love fall, is the fall one. There are several fall ones that most of the board and pillar people have. They were last year's, so they're repeats from last year. I do have them, like autumn is summer's last loveliest smile or something that's a beautiful transfer um there's a couple autumn ones that are repeats from last year that uh, they brought back so many of you have those already because we did them last year um this is the new one. Oh my god i love fall love it absolutely love it all right that's what i got for you tonight thanks for hanging out with me thank you for helping me figure out the best way to embellish it. Again, this is our board and pillar that I spray painted with a uh, gold metallic spray paint, just your basic gold Krylon metallic gold. Um, it's kind of a little bit matte in finish. It's not a shiny gold, it's a metallic. And I'm totally loving this color combination. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will be back at you. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. See you guys.